Hello and welcome to MB Tech. My name is Matt Bingham and this time we will be talking about creating a content view for Catello. Um, there are previous videos, there's a part one that actually shows you how to do the repositories and uh, create that part of uh, the video. Then also the initial one was actually the install of the basic install of Catello itself. Um, so basically we're going to do it both using the command line as well as showing you in the uh, web GUI what it looks like. So we'll start off with the command line and we'll be using the hammer command again. And uh, this should be a short one and then we'll get right into a lifecycle environment for the next video which will be part three. Um, so let's uh, start right into it. We're going to SSH into the box. And from here, we're going to use the hammer command. This is going to be the name. And then description. Okay, so the content view has been created. We can also go into the GUI and we'll refresh this. And we can see that now there's a CentOS content. There are no repositories, so what you need to remember is we need to add the repositories to the content view, very similar to the way we did with the uh, actual product. So if you go to products, you can see the product. And then within the product, we've got the repos and the repos are in here. So we need to add those repos to the um, content view. Now you can go into the content view, go to the yum content, hit repositories, and you can click add, and then you can select them this way, which is pretty fast and easy. Or if you want, we can also do it from the command line. Like I said, I prefer to do it that way. Um, so we will go through the uh, command line to do that part. So we'll actually do a hammer content view. List, and this will just list it. I just wanted to show you that there's the uh, default organization view. Then you got your CentOS 7 content view that we created. And it has not been published, and there's no repository uh, IDs for that. And next, what we're going to do is we're going to add those repositories to the actual content uh, view that we just created. Um, so that we're just going to do a little for loop again. Okay. That's going to do a little loop and add those uh, repositories into the uh, content view. So those have been associated to that content view and now we can go back to the uh, web GUI and then in here we can see if we go to the content view Content it shows that there's three repositories. If we go in there, then we go to the yum content, go to repositories. We can see that there's the three that have been added. So everything looks good. Content view has been complete. That completes this part of Catello. Um, and next, we will be going to creating a lifecycle environment uh, for that. Thank you, and please like, subscribe, tell me what you like me to cover. And I will continue on making these videos and hopefully you'll enjoy them. Thanks a lot. Have a good night.